great to see so many people enjoying all these lovely talks. I'm certainly learning a lot. My name is Brendan Levet, and I work for a bush regeneration company called Tula Dua, and I work in Sydney. <clears throat> I want to talk to you about a small little site that I manage uh, called the Matadei Biobank. It's situated in Cobbity, <clears throat> and it has outstanding environmental values. It's home, uh, it's actually uh, 25.7 uh, hectares square, and it runs along the banks of the Nepean River here. The main vegetation communities there are Cumberland Plain Woodland, which is an EEC, along with uh, Eucalyptus River Flat Coastal Floodplain Forest, which is also an EEC. And the main weeds which we are tackling there is African olive, which you can see here. This is a before photo taken one year ago of an olive infestation. You can see the little marker here. And this one year on, uh, we cleared this through the use of a tritter, which is an up and coming technique which is having remarkable impacts to the uh, olive. And it's a really good way to clear the olive off the site, really encouraging regeneration from it also. We also employ some techniques such as stem injection, this is a really large olive which has been killed out by stem injection. We also employ cut and paint methods. Uh, so we cut the olives and pile them discreetly on site and within a year this is the regeneration you can see. So the Cumberland Plain Woodland Ground uh, layer is incredibly resilient. So during all this uh, restoration works, <clears throat> I happen to stumble across these guys on site. And this is a little bare nose wombat. You can see he's got a little bare nose there. And um, they're actually in real trouble within Sydney. Uh, they're only found south from around the Picton, Cobbity, Camden area, and further south, and then from Gosford heading north, uh, whereas their numbers are now declining. So it's mainly due to this, which is psychoptic mange. So this poor little cute and cuddly wombat is now a scabby, crusty, smelly, poor little fella, and he's on his way out. It kills them within a matter of months. And I thought, well, there's something that we've got to be able to do here, because as environmental restorationists, we have to look after the flora and fauna of our sites. So we went about and identified all the wombat holes across our site and totaled around 18. We then used motion sensing cameras to discover which burrows were active, which we found this little girl. And then, to control the mange, we started installing these burrow flaps, which is this here. And we did this in consultation with the Cedar Creek Wombat Hospital on, uh, in the Hunter Valley, New South Wales. Uh, this is a wombat burrow flap made from a recycled game council sign. And um, <laughs> basically, uh, basically, in this little flap here, you put some ivermectin, which is a cattle pour on flea treatment. And as the wombat comes in and out of this burrow, he gets a little dose of it as the flat flips up. Really easy, cost effective way to control mange on a site. There's the Ivermec there. The Sedgen is a spray on for blowfly strike, which we'll use uh, if there's really bad wounds on the wombats. So, going back to our uh, restoration site, we started controlling the mange, and now we've got to get on with business. And we're going to revegetate this paddock here. Uh, mm -hmm. But we don't want the wombats ripping up all our plants, do we? Because that happens quite a lot. So we've installed some rabbit mesh around each of the plantings, uh, which stops the wombats digging them up, because they're really attracted to that fresh earth. Also, using things like blood and bone, placed around the planting areas will stop any of the uh, marsupial mammals from entering, because they hate the smell of it. It means predator. So just simple ways you can keep them off site. We didn't want to displace all the wombats because they did have burrows where we were going to be revegetating, so we've installed some makeshift wombat burrows for them throughout the site and around the area. And we've got some footage of them checking them out because they're really attracted to that fresh soil, so we just scarified the soil in front of it a little bit to make it more appealing for them. This results in happy wombats, a happier <laughs> site, and happy regenerators. Uh, thank you all for listening.